Hello there, uh, this is Saim Shutarik. Um, today, basically, we will be doing these activities which are in your A level IT course book. Uh, these include 18 activities. Um, some are a bit lengthy, some are uh, pretty small. So, we'll start doing them and we'll try to finish them in one go. For this, we'll be using Adobe Flash CS3 Professional. I have always advised my students to work in Action Scripting 2 because Action Scripting 2 allows you to uh, select a script, uh, not to write down the entire script, such as in 3. Since we are in beginner level right now, so we'll use 2. Once you open this up, you get this stage and you can press Ctrl F3 or you could go to Window and you can open up the Properties bar. Here you go. Well, let's look at the first task that we have. Using animation software, draw a stick person as described above. To make sure each part of the person is in its own, appropriately named and layered. So what we'll do is, we'll basically <clears throat> make a stick person. And we can initially do is, we can give this layer and name this layer as arms. We can add another layer, we can name this as legs and another layer and we can name this as the body right and over here uh, we have a drastic person so for the body obviously what I have to do is I'll use the paintbrush tool and I'll select this one probably this one and we'll simply make the head and here you go. Obviously a stick person is a stick person. We don't have to have much accuracy in this. It's, that's what the concept is. For legs, we will basically do is we have the legs and the arms. And here you go. So individually, we have added that. We are not adding any animation, but this will be the next part for question. Draw, and uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll save my individual, and I will save as, I'll make a folder for this, where I can save all of these. Um, I'll save it in an appropriate location where I can upload the solutions on my website as well. So here we go, um, the animations, and this is, I'll limit as activity 1 to 18 from the book, right? And I'll name this as stick person. The FLA file gets generated and once you press control enter, your SW file gets generated. This is something you should be aware of. The next is draw an underwater scene with rocks, seaweed, fish, etc. Make sure each component has its own layer. So the same thing. First of all, I open up new stew. I will name it as save it as underwater scene. And I'll have this for the rocks. I'll have another layer for the seaweeds. another layer for what else do we want fish we can have a fish make sure each component has its own layer so obviously uh, <clears throat> since uh, it's underwater um, I would prefer to add some effects such as a background which is bluish okay it doesn't matter exactly if you can make a right one I have to make as a rock so I'll make a rock well um, um, my rock will be gray sort of thing, right? I can press control plus, there we go. And I can edit it in such a way so that I can add some different, that's my rock, okay. Uh, I can control C, control V. And I can basically temper this a bit to add a different rock. 
you will never find rocks exactly the same right and I have to make the seaweeds seaweeds will be uh, I can use a brush for this seaweeds will be probably somewhat like this color no uh, if I really want to make nice seaweeds um, I would you do is And uh, my C will will be fine. Control C, Control V. I could now do is uh, please. I'm recording the lecture so you can have a look what the st what particular steps I'm following. I might be pretty fast. The reason I have to be a bit fast is because I have to complete all of these in a while. Control V again, and we could rotate this in such a way so that we could probably increase the size a bit more and it gets fine and probably one last one and this would be a bit more slimmer and I fit over here right and I can have the seaweed somewhere over here right I need the fish so I'm not very good artist to draw these things perfectly but let's see uh, the concept actually is to uh, see how the animations work okay none of us is an artist the examiner is not checking that it's the <coughs> concept and the animation effect that the examiner is mostly concerned and will be concerned about there we go use a bit same color delete this can do is if I want it to be exactly the same I could control C and control V I could bring this here and I could obviously Uh, there could be different ways through which you can actually make this uh, mine probably is different yours probably could be a bit more different so it doesn't make a difference much it should look like fish actually that's what the point is
uh, not very perfect one uh, if we spend some time we could probably make something better it's okay -ish, right uh, <clears throat> so we made this as well okay I'll save it again next come to the next part the next part says create an animation using frames and keyframes to make a word appear word appear letter by letter for example if a word has animation a would appear and then n so i'll open a new scene and do okay i'll, I'll add I'll, I'll like to add some uh, background um, color to this let's make it black so that looks nice and uh, I, I i will name this as animation and i'll do is i'll select d color I'll make it white and i'll write over here first of all a not this a not this font a uh, and I try I would like to use some 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 decent font a really decent one okay let's not waste time on a very decent one here you go a I'll increase the size and the best practice for this is that you need to do is hit F6 every time okay so next I have is uh, 6 I F6 M F6 A F6 D F6 I F6 O F6 N F6 okay um, so here we go if I press control enter this is what I get letter by letter okay so this is what's happening animation animation okay I will save this as animation right okay <clears throat> create an animation to make a flower grow for example start a seed the roots and stem grow from this and eventually it becomes a flower good I like that so I'll make a new one and I will do is let's just add a tiny effect to it let's make the BG color something like this okay or what do you say no it's just I'll add make it a bit right you could add a gradient effect but this is fine so what we'll do is Control plus because I would like to zoom in and see what's happening. That would be my seed. I'd like to make my seed of a different color, something like this. Okay, I would not like to have a border over here. And we'll just try to have some. Uh, so that it looks like a seed right now we will try to make this seed I'll name this layer as seed I'll make another layer and name it as roots I will extend this because I, want, I would like my animation to go till 60 insert keyframe my roots will when my roots basically grow my size of my seed will eventually decrease so create motion twin create motion twin so eventually what happens is the size of my seed will will decrease to some extent and eventually I would like it to disappear so what I have to do for this is I'll press again control 3 and when I click on the seed I'll come into alpha I'll not make it totally transparent I'll just try to make it somewhat like it goes because as soon as the tree size increases the seed should decrease so we'd like some roots to grow eventually uh, there could be two ways we could do this um, 
we could do this by keyframe by keyframe animation or we could um, listen what I'll do is we will just try to see what I'm doing if you want to make it professionally you need to do it this way right we'll just add four I'll come here and I will insert blank keyframe and I'll click on onion scaling then what I'll do is I'll try to extend these Or you know what the better way is onion skinning will make it much more complicated the best way will be uh, let me continue I'll simply come here and I will insert f6 f6 sorry f6 F6 continue adding it F6 I'll try to add more to it. So this is what's happening, right? And eventually, I, I'll obviously come here and I will insert keyframe. Now uh, I'll add another layer where I would like to add is the stem, right? For that, what we'll do is we need the stem to grow as well. So, in order to make a good stem, I can simply use is this. The stem is not of that color. Fine. Right. What I could do is I could eventually make this grow, insert keyframe and create motion and create motion so that it grows in such a way I don't 
want this to actually I would like this to grow in such a way that I would prefer the color to be somewhat the same <coughs> For this, I, I need to add a different animation, okay? Uh, I'll just show you what will I do. I can do it with great motion twin as well. There are two, two different ways. Uh, we can do it by F6 as well. I will, in, I will just reduce the size. I'll come here. I'll hit F6. I'll increase the size. I'll hit F6 a bit more I'll hit up six again a bit more six a bit more F6 bit more F6 right so what I've done wrong is I should have Okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's a okay. So Let's see how it's going. Right. Okay. Now we need is the another one for the flower. Who we don't can we can spend a lot of time on flower and my flower will actually when this uh, fully grows somewhere over here I can insert a keyframe and now I can make my flower grow because obviously when the stem grows then flower starts growing so here you go the flower needs to give a different color uh, this is what I have then uh, can have is something like this control C control C control V Okay, and I could probably make this something like this. Now I could now we could do is we could have this over here and we could add insert keyframe create motion and create motion eventually this is what I would do 
I would what I would do is I would try to obviously alpha this in such a way so that it's it's, it's uh, almost not visible and eventually it is so control enter and we could eventually stop it as well if you want to come into actions right click and you must stop it as well control enter right is this what we're supposed to do create an animation to make a flower grow for example start with the seed the roots and the stem grow from this and eventually becomes a flower fine we've done this one as well and i have saved this as flower growth done next point number five create an animation for the stick man you drew previously make them walk across the screen you could extend this to have two people who meet and perform other actions so this is what the stick person was and we are supposed to move it very simple it's f6 um all we have to do is i have to make it move right so uh the best way to deal with such a kind of situation will be using the onion skin do it with me right now it will be clear all i'll do is i will um, click here and I will insert blank keyframe and I'll click on this okay now what I'll do is I would redraw the arms I think so I changed the pen size so let me bring it back no was it this one or was it this one I think so let's see it was this one right then I could come here come here insert blank frame and I could do this that would be too much right I could come here insert blank frame right next we have is the legs so we'll do the same thing with the legs insert blank frame our onion skinning is there although we are not allowed to use a graphic tablet or a stylus if we have it it will be a lot easier for us to make very accurate stick man
There you go. Right. Uh, if we would have added this in a sub movie, it would have been much more easier for us to work with. Uh, the last part actually was the legs, and I was not pretty sure. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just add it again. That way. There you go. So. Right. All we have to do is we have to now move, move this. Okay. This is um, one way we can make a stick person. Okay. The other way is also a good way for uh, we can actually make sub movies because the question says we're supposed to make different layers and make it move. Okay. So this isn't bad, but it's not moving. It's standing in one in one place. Um, I would prefer using another method let me discuss that as well uh, I'll just create new okay and I will file I will oh we haven't saved it so it doesn't matter so um, I'll press control uh, control F8 I'll make a movie and I'll, I'll I will name it as legs and what I will do over here is I will simply draw my legs. You will actually love this part this way, this method. Insert blank frame here. I will now insert another one. And here you go. This one. So I have something like this. I'll press control it again and I'll make this as the arms a sub move clip so my arms will eventually be like this one arm is this and the other arm is no I'll do it again arm 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 onion scaling no doubt is a very good way here you go I made the arms I will do is control and fade and I'll make is the body this includes the head and no it again because there you go I'll come back to scene one now what I could do is I could add is my body here I could add the arms right over here I could add the legs right over here now what I could do is I could come here to 40 or 30 insert keyframe create motion create motion turn off this and I could simply drag and move this here what's happening is I press control enter you see what's happening my individual sub movie is moving separately you can see that okay the sub movie so that's how you can do uh, you can provide an evidence for the examiner that you have sub movies which are dealing separately one for the legs one for the arms right so I'll save this as a stick person Maybe. no I'll 
as if it has stick person two, for example. Right. Uh, further, what they said was we are supposed to make it do some sort of animations. Well, we can even do that. <clears throat> so what we could do is I, I could add and uh, I can name this as person one. I add another layer. I can name this as person two. And what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste. Since it's a sub movie, I, I can I can do a lot with this. It's it's very interesting. Um, I could turn it around. Okay, one of the thing, turn it around. And this is my first person. I want this person to come till here in the middle. Insert keyframe, create motion, create motion, and I would like this person to come here. Okay, and I would like them to shake hand. And for this, uh, one thing that I don't like is the arm is too ex much extended. So I'll double click, I'll double click, and I'll come here. Uh, it was just something that I was getting a bit irritated of. It's too, it's too lengthy. See, you see, see, since it's a uh, one movie, if I edit one, the other one will be edited as well. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. This is what I want. Here you go, and here you go. Here you go. Again, now you see, it's not looking nice when the sizes are the same, and it has. Come back here. I'll see again what's happening. This should be moving when I I would like this to be here initially. I would like this to be here afterwards, right? So they're moving, and I would like them to come here. I can stop for a while and they can shake hand, right? Well, um, for this, what we can do is we can come to our hands over here. I'm till where? I'm till 30. So 30 to 35, I'll make the hands, this hand move and no, this hand move and shake the hand, this one. This one comes here. And this one comes here, right? So 30, 35. So what I have to do is I'll come into the hands over here, over here. So till here, I'll insert keyframe, and from here till here, I'll insert as a blank frame, and I will put on skinning. go let's see what happened now does it go accordingly no 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 thirty five right oh insert keyframe It goes, it goes really fast. Okay, uh, handshaking is working, but the, these arms are out of order. I just, I, I actually tempered it. Uh, Yes, see? So, 
fine it's, it's some sort of action they could do anything else as well okay uh, we, we could obviously add some different action to it as well okay if you use keyframe by keyframe in the animation you will be able to do it much perfectly but that will take consume a lot of more time um, keyframe by keyframe animation means that you have to press f6 and every time you have to change the step okay i will come to the next one uh, change the ftps of animation increase and decrease them discuss so let's see what will happen if i change the ftp the fps sorry make it to like 24 and let's see what happens now okay the, the, the animation it's, it's pretty fast and if i reduce it to let's say 7 let's see what happens it's pretty slow so this is what we get okay okay now we could also make the arms stay for a while the way it's happening the way it's happening right now is this comes here I could probably extend this right so fine using the underwater scene you created earlier add a motion to ins to make the fish move add bubbles floating to the surface each one will need its own layer motion so we'll work on that underwater scene no problem same way same way we have to do it um, I have to make this move I will do is I'll take this till 35 insert keyframe insert keyframe insert keyframe create motion create motion Great motion, great motion. I'll make the first first fish move. I'll reduce it. Uh, bring it here. I'll come here, insert keyframe. Bring it here. I'll reduce the size. Insert keyframe. Bring it here, give the size. Then I'll actually bring it here. Right? Then I could do is come here and set keyframe. Or I don't have to insert keyframe in this particular case. Um, I could simply insert keyframe. right let's see what's happening right you see what's happening I have both move motions working up oh I need the bubbles as well I could add one other one and I will put big bubbles Oh. 
inside the bubble initially should be small and eventually the size of the bubble should increase I could make bubble 1 so bubble 2 I'll make another bubble I'll make sure it's not exactly there you go right that's my underwater scene okay draw a ball and make it move across the screen draw a ball to move across the screen add a stick person and get them to kick or throw the ball to each other okay line number so new first of all i'll add moving ball how do i add a moving ball well very simple um, I could do this is uh, by adding ball coming to here insert keyframe great motion great motion my ball eventually is over here okay so I'll add a motion guide and I would like my ball to be kicked from here and go here so I'll move it pick it up from here now there so this is what happens oh frankly speaking no it should not go such a way I'll do it again I'll add motion guide and I would like my ball to actually go this way it's, it's always it's a, sort of like a smooth not a curvy path it doesn't look nice okay so here you go and enter that's how the ball goes now what I need to do is I'll add a new layer and over here I should make a stick person who eventually kicks the ball and then it moves so I will eventually I will extend this till here I'll extend this till here I need to extend this till here and I need to extend this till here where I can have a movement of ball right so no not exactly I'll do it again fine so it's moving from here it's going there right but I would like the person Okay, so layer 4 I will make is the stickman who is sort of like right so what I'll do is I'll come till here insert keyframe no. let's control Z I 
I'll directly copy this and directly I'll paste this here. Why have I done this? I'll just show you why. Because now I would I don't want this this particular part of the leg. I would like to kick it. I would like to see what's happening to this. Right? So I will In fact, I'll get rid of both because when you kick in, No, no, no. There should be more movement than this. This is just nothing. I want more. Uh, this is nothing much, so I'll do it more. Yes. It comes here. And it went, when it reaches uh, here, here, I would like stickman two two to be already present over here. Who could kick again, right? So again over here, we'll just quickly make a stickman. There we go. I will. I will not go for a lot of accuracy this time, and. You know what, it's a save time, what I'll do is I'll just copy this stick man I'll, I'll simply come here paste it here have it over here and when it reaches here I will insert a keyframe and I will insert keyframe again so that now I could basically
right? So what we get I would like this to come back over here when it's kicked okay so what I could do is I could extend this till here I could extend this till here and now I could take this back here so so what's happening is the ball was there the ball comes back so all I need to do is I need to insert key from here and insert key from here press control enter so I have a simple animation that is doing this you can practice this more and do it with much more perfection than the way I have done okay persons kicking a ball I will take out time sometime and I'll try to make a much more professional one okay pro point number nine create a motion to in that incorporates a change in opacity for example fade in or fade out so Fade in. Okay. All I could do is I could reduce this in size. Open my. This is fade in. There you go. Fade in and bring it here. fade out so you have fade in and then you have is fade out you could change the text as well okay right there you go fade in and out then we have is create a shape to in that changes a red square into blue circle red well, let me read again red square into blue circle so file new I'll make is uh, that's not a square but fine a red insert keyframe create motion no not create motion create shape twin come here press delete make up circle paint it blue so you have is changing I'll save as red square to blue circle draw a scene that shows the changes during the year for example a river and a forest showing Example a river and a forest showing. Create a shape to interchange the red square blue circle. Done this. Uh, draw a scene that shows the change during the year. I, I will I'll do the point number fifteen that will uh, incorporate twelve of uh, twelve, uh, 12 as well. Draw a scene that shows the change during the year. For example, a, a river and a forest showing lush green sunny days, leaves changing to red and orange falling frozen river with barren trees new growth emerging this is all done through your different stages and animations create an animated interaction tv okay so i'll do point number
changed into for example a, ri uh, a river and a forest first of all we have to make is a river and a forest okay Right, so <clears throat> that's a river, and we could have a forest at the back. Right, what I'll do is I'll bring this layer down, I'll lock this layer. Now since winters, in winters we'll have Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll add another layer and I'll make this for trees. leaves and for leaves I will do is this
Unlock the layers that I don't want to tamper with. If I could make a sub movie of this, it would have been much better for leaves, frankly speaking, because I could have multiple leaves falling. Can I just delete this? Press Control F8 and let's make a move for leaves. And what we could do is we could basically simply make a leaf. right and all I do is add a new layer and I can add is a leaf here I could add is a leaf here right I could uh, okay. I could add is a leave here. Control enter. So I have leaves falling. Right. Now eventually as it keeps on changing, I would like to have uh, my this changing as well for example I would like this insert keyframe create shape twin I'll come here and I will change this to let's say some other color right so what I have is this have the color changes as well apart from the leaves so control enter of leaves falling and have the color changing as well of different season now what else do we need leaf changing to red and orange and falling yeah i could even do that i could i could come here and uh, um, remove twin create shape twin and change this color to some other color how it works I sh should have done before Control enter okay uh, if I would have done this I'll, 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 let, let me do it no problem all I have to do is I'll get a new layer I'll delete this one because I didn't read it before all I have to do is I have to make a leaf I will insert keyframe and I will insert is a is a shape turning and I will do is I will no I'll do it again. I will make a leaf and this is my leaf. I will do is I'll insert shape insert is a keyframe. I will do is create shape twin come here and I'll change the color to dark green so my 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 this is changing as well I could even do is I could add my leaf now not here I'll delete this layer I'll add a new layer I'll add my leaf okay I'll make my leaf smaller 
put it here copy paste I'll put it here but I'll change the direction I'll copy paste I'll put it here copy paste I would leave it here right and at the same time okay I would copy and paste it here but I would change the direction and change the direction change the direction Ooh, why is it I should have locked the label it's tempering this I don't want this to be tempered lock this this is the advantage of locking the label. otherwise you get tempered okay right so now what I'll do is I'll simply come here and insert keyframe, create shape training and create motion training. And I could bring these down. What eventually will happen is my leaves color is changing, my background color is changing, both are changing. So leaves changing red to fall lush green sunny days okay a uh, new growth emerging a frozen river with barren trees okay new growth emerging we could have another layer and we could have the same way our roots were growing in the previous video we could make the same sub movie control effect make the sub movie and we could add it here okay uh, in which remember flower growth we could exactly make the sub movie I could simply uh, copy frames I could do is control F fate I would make this flower I would paste frames right bring it here and flower I will have it here I will have it here I will change the direction of this as well there you go now you can see oh, this wrong place I'm so sorry it's supposed to be in a new layer oh, oh that's perfectly fine what I'll add is a new layer for the flower and here's my flower here's my flower instead of saving time I did this instead of creating it again control enter right uh, actually the size of this was actually too big I'll reduce it reduce it it's supposed to be smaller smaller and my flower on over here if you would like to see was till 60 and this is supposed to be till 60 as well so I do insert keyframe insert keyframe insert keyframe insert keyframe insert keyframe control enter right so this is the way it's supposed to happen I'll just have a look at flower growth why is it not oh why did I oh you know why because in my flower growth this was a separate sub movie that I made I could do this I could simply 
copy this sorry this this came out to be very lengthy it was not supposed to be this way but since I'm discussing this so I add the new one paste I think so there, there, there's a confusion in the right. there was a difference in the name that's why anyway you you have an idea what it means to try this again lush green send this create an animated introduction to TV or film show film make sure you include your images and main characters and text introducing the title make use of pastian twins pretty easy extend your underwater scene to include a sea range of sea life animate the background and plans to create continuous repeated scenes create an animated cartoon that shows a day in a, in the life of a central character use the range of techniques including some of the keyframe the all concept lies within um, keyframes and animations uh, let me just 